Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're going to try a spot of air to air refueling in our Mirage 2000. So first of all we need to contact the tanker. You can do that using easy communications. Otherwise we need to set our VHF radio up here to 243. So I've programmed my VHF radio to 243 as you can see in that green writing there. And I'm going to make contact with him with shift left shift and numpad plus. And up here we've got options, F6 is the tanker, F1 to refuel. Texaco, in field, 1, 2, request rejoin. In field, 1, 2, Texaco, proceed to pre-contact at 5,000. So we've got a response now, we're going to get on his tail quite close, and then we'll uh, ready pre-contact, so stand by. Okay, I think that should do it. I'm going to ask uh, for ready pre-contact, F1 again. Ready pre-contact. Clear contact. Out comes my basket. I've got to now set my fuel valve right. So it's this one on the left. It's really hard to see, but it's in there. We want to go up one with the right click. So it's in the middle. So that is daytime refueling. That is nighttime refueling. That is... Um, it's off so we're in daytime refueling now we've lost our place so let's get back up there right it's taking my basket away so i'm going to ask my basket again so that's ready pre-contact pre return pre-contact hasn't given to me let's try it again let's be close ready, again. yeah Okay, here comes a basket. Let's give that a whirl. Clear contact. Break away, break away, break away. Return free contact. Okay, I've got it in. You're Don't know what altitude he's flying at really. Uh, sorry, what speed? About 310 I think. Ready, recontact. Roger. Clear contact. Now I'm just gonna try and hold it as still as I possibly can. Okay. Will you tell me when... Oh, I've done it! That's not bad! <laughs> wow. Um, I couldn't really talk to him in that because it was um, quite stressful to be honest. Um, but basically I was just trying to put as minimal contact as I possibly could um, in terms of stick input. Just uh, so if I thought I had to go right then I would put less right stick than I thought I actually needed Ready, and then amplified it if I need to rather than the um, other way of doing it which is putting too much stick into it, any, any kind of uh, left or right or up or down input which tends to get, in, tends to get you into 
a uh, PIO, pilot induced oscillation. So tiny input, amplifying where I needed to be, um, keeping really just behind that uh, fuel nacelle or the fuel dispenser. Um, and the throttle was probably the hardest bit. Uh, it doesn't seem to have very good throttle response in the Mirage from what I felt there. So I had to kind of predict um, a few seconds ahead of every move. But other than that, it's just about doable with, uh, with a bit of practice, I reckon. Yeah, I think you're supposed to use the rudder to go left and right. When oh, you're really? That's interesting. At least that's what I've been shoved at. You know, people have said, no, 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 when you're, when you're trying to get in the basket, if you if you use your, your stick to bank left and right, this, you, you, you're going to you go, go way off. So just use tiny little rudder inputs and it, it'll it will send you left to right in, in tiny little increment. Well done. I think that's, that's not bad for first attempt. Um, I hope that helps and we'll see you later.